In Demon Slayer, there are many secrets you might not know even if you read the entire manga, let alone just watch the anime. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to count down 101 interesting Demon Slayer secrets that many people, and especially anime watchers, would have no idea about. If you like the idea of such a Demon Slayer video and want to see more like it, like maybe for specific characters because the bonus material for this series is very rich, then channel the Demon Slayer with it and slay that like button until it goes up in fireworks and let me know what specific specific character you'd like to see covered next in the comments. If you haven't yet, join the Demon Slaying fam by subscribing and hitting that notification bell to turn on all notifications or you will miss future Demon Slayer videos and updates. And with the new Demon Slayer season coming out in April, so it's just around the corner, you can expect a lot more of those. And now, without further ado, let's jump into it, spoilers and all. Secret number one. One of my favorite secrets because I like the ship so much is that the Love Hashira's green socks were given to her by Serpent Hashira Obanai Iguro. Although Mitsuri can sometimes act like she's in love with everyone, which I guess is a love Hashira kind of thing to do. As this video goes on, it'll become more and more apparent that Iguro is the most special to her, especially in the romantic sense. Number 2. On the topic of clothing, you might ask why Mitsuri wears her uniform in such a revealing way when the other female Demon Slayers don't. Well, in truth, all female uniforms were designed to look like Mitsuri's. The Demon Slayer uniform tailor called Masao Maeda designed all the female uniforms to be similarly revealing, so it's not surprising that he's been nicknamed the four-eyed creep in the series. However, Shinobu burned her uniform and gave oil and matches so that Aoi and Kanao could burn theirs too. This explains why they don't have uniforms like Mitsuri's. Mitsuri's. Mitsuri ultimately continued to wear her uniform as is, despite being initially embarrassed about it. So if you want to get super specific about it, Mitsuri is actually following the uniform protocol more than the other girls. Number 3. Mitsuri actually created her own breathing style called Love Breathing and it's derived from Flame Breathing. Her discovery is documented in the Stories of Flame and Water bonus volume where Mitsuri was still being mentored by Kyojuro Rengoku and Kyojuro for his part wasn't a Hashira yet, at least until he defeated the former Lower Moon too. Number 4. In a bonus manga page, the mangaka whose avatar takes the form of an alligator with glasses tells us that Mitsuri's hair starts pink and turns green because Mitsuri loves Sakura Mochi. The story goes she ate so much of it that her hair changed to reflect the color of the Sakura Mochi. Number 5. Mitsuri has the biggest appetite out of all the Hashira. She can eat 100 sticks of dongo. That is one big dongo family. And because of how much she eats, we're told her food expenses are ridiculously high. Talking about love that transcends all, Iguro and Mitsuri actually make a cameo appearance in chapter 137 of a completely different series called Tonikaki Kawaii, a romantic comedy. I love seeing the impact not only of Demon Slayer on other works, but even of the love between these two specific characters. Definitely one of my favorite ships ever. Number 7. So the fact that Iguro loved Mitsuri was pretty obvious when you take into account how jealous he got about Tanjiro being close with her. But the fact that Mitsuri loved Iguro romantically was not as clear until her confession after the Muzan fight. However, in the second fan book it's revealed that she did love him long before that, but was unable to confess her feelings because the trauma from her past marriage interviews held her back. Number 8. The second fan book reveals the level of openness of different characters, specifically of the Hashira. Mitsuri's was 90%, so very open. Let's see if you can guess who will have the lowest level of openness in the comments out of all the Hashira. Number 9. There were two popularity polls for Demon Slayer, and Mitsuri got 12th place in both of them. Number 10. On to Iguro the Serpent Hashira, sometimes called the Snake Hashira. His snake is called Kaburamaru, but more importantly, he does not consider Kaburamaru to be a pet. Rather, he considers him to be his friend. Number 11. After Iguro's death, Kaburamaru is entrusted to Kanao by Wind Hashira Sanami. You might think that it's interesting that Sanami made the decision of who the snake would end up with. But the two, meaning Iguro and Sanami, were actually quite close. In the second fan book, the Hashira are each asked how they feel about the other Hashira. While Iguro hates water Hashira Giyu, he says that Sanami is a friend he gets along with. In turn, Sanami also says he hates Giyu and that he gets along with Iguro the most. Interestingly enough, Sanami says he doesn't like Mitsuri much, which could be another reason Iguro likes him, because he's clearly not a romantic rival. Number 12. In contrast to his love Mitsuri, Iguro has the smallest appetite of the Hashira and has no problem going three days without eating. Number 13. Despite not liking to eat, Iguro does like to watch Mitsuri eat and seeing her happily eat makes him work up an appetite and he ends up eating more than usual. Number 14. In the first popularity poll, Iguro ranked 20 
26th place. But in the second popularity poll, he shot up to 8th place, positioning him comfortably within the top 10 most popular characters in the entire series. Number 15. In contrast to Mitsuri, Iguro is not physically strong. Despite being a Hashira, the mangaka called him a little weak. The only Hashira he could beat in arm wrestling is insect Hashira Shinobu. However, keep in mind, this is physical strength alone that's being taken into account and doesn't reflect how well he'd do in an actual death battle. Number 16. Quite often in shonen manga, you'll find references to Japanese myths and folklore. And that's the case with Iguro as well. When his mouth covering comes off, we see that he has scars on both ends of his mouth. We know the snake demon did this to him so he'd look more like her. But rather than being a Joker why so serious reference, for Japanese readers, this would be a nod to the Japanese legend of Kuchisake. The spirit also covers her face with something like Iguro does with the bandages. The legend goes that she asks potential victims if she looks pretty. If they say no, she ends them. If they say yes, then she reveals the corners of her mouth, which are slit ear to ear like Iguro's. She asks them if she looks pretty again. If they say no, she ends them. If they say yes, she similarly disfigures their mouth. But there is a way out. If you describe her as average, or if you distract her with money or hard candies, then you can escape with your life and without looking like the Joker. Number 17. Obanai's level of openness is, as one would expect, lower than Mitsuri's at 60%. However, honestly, it's still higher than I expected, and not even close to the least open person. Number 18. Due to his upbringing where he was surrounded by female relatives who severely mistreated him, not to mention the female snake demon, Iguro developed a fear and even hatred towards females. Females. This actually got worse, believe it or not, when he saw the weak resolve of a lot of female demon slayers. Of course, Mitsuri is the exception though. She is the first and only woman he ever found to be beautiful, so he's the opposite of the Sanji type character who falls head over heels for every attractive woman. Number 19. In the Kimetsu Academy spin-off, where characters from Demon Slayer are put in a modern context, specifically in a school, Iguro is a chemistry teacher, and his fear of women in the original manifests itself as an allergy to women in this story. However, even in this alternate universe, he still finds himself drawn to Mitsuri, an art college student, and he asks about her all the time in Aoi's restaurant. Number 20. Alright, now that I've discussed one of my favorite couples for an adequate period of time, we can now move on to Tanjiro, the protagonist of the series. Tanjiro ranked first in the first popularity poll, but surprisingly fell to fourth place in the second. And don't worry, we'll get to who the most popular character was by the end of the series soon. Number 21. In the bonus pages, it's revealed that Tanjiro's pen pals include Sakonji, Senjuro, the courtesans from the entertainment district, Tengen, and Giyu. However, Giyu never writes back. Number 22. Even if Tanjiro inherited the dance of the fire god and thus sun breathing from his father, we learn in the first fan book that Tanjiro inherited his insanely hard forehead from his mother. So it's nice to know that both of his parents, in a sense, help him in battle. Number 23. In Kimetsu Academy, despite being dubbed the most polite in school, Tanjiro is known as a boy who continuously violates the rules. Also, his family owns a bakery. Number 24. Tanjiro is such a pure and honest guy that he can't keep a straight face when he's lying. Number 25. In contrast to Tanjiro, the mangaka's protagonist before Tanjiro was very different. She published Hayaniwa no Zigzag in 2015. Zigzag can be found translated online and follows a character who removes curses, which sounds nice enough, but he actually wanted to kill people through curses before because he could make a lot of money that way. But then he got cursed himself so that he could never kill or use his power for personal gain. He's sort of forced to be a good guy against his will by the curse, an interesting concept and one very different from Tanjiro in Demon Slayer. Unlike Tanjiro 2, Zigzag's protagonist punishes people who do bad things and is described as a poison that will eradicate evil. Number 26. The very first manga that the Demon Slayer mangaka published was called Kagarigari, and it was published in 2013. This one-shot was a sort of prototype for Demon Slayer, and contained many ideas that would find their way into Demon Slayer. The characters of Yushiro and Tamayo are present. So is another character that dresses similarly to the Demon King of Pop, Muzan. However, notably, our main characters are missing. Number 27. Speaking of main characters, let's talk about one of my favorites, Zenitsu. Zenitsu ranked second in the first popularity poll, and you may have guessed it, 
first in the second popularity poll. Not only was Zaitu the most popular character by the end of the series, he also ranked 29th place in Promised Neverland's 2020 popularity poll. 44 people voted for him even though he wasn't supposed to even be an option. And as we'll get into, there are characters who ranked well below that in the Demon Slayer popularity poll, so it's crazy how popular Zaitu is and how much it's spread across different series, not just Demon Slayer. Number 28. By the time Demon Slayer ends, Zenitsu is the only one of the trio to do two things that have only been done by Hashira. One, he created a new and original breathing style form with his flaming thunder god attack, something Giyu did with Dead Calm. Second, he defeated an upper moon all on his own, something also done by Mist Hashira Muichiro. If you didn't know, one of the requirements of becoming a Hashira is to beat a demon moon. And that can be a lower moon too, it doesn't have to be an upper moon. So to say that Zaintu earned a Hashira title is misleading because he went above and beyond what it takes. Which is why, in my books, it's completely fine to call Zaintu the Thunder Hashira or, as they say in the Demon Slayer world for Thunder using Hashira, the Rumble Hashira. Number 29. In some bonus materials given in the complete box set of Demon Slayer, it is revealed that Zenitsu loves sweets and expensive foods like eels. As a result, he would have been fat if he wasn't a swordsman. Number 30. Zainitsu's surname Agatsuma means, and I quote, my wife, end quote, in Japanese, which seems fitting for a guy constantly obsessed with women and specifically with finding a wife of his own. Number 31. Zainitsu's Kasugai Crow is the only sparrow to appear in the series and pass the Kasugai Crow test. It is the only Kasugai Crow that can't talk. Its family was killed by demons, so it wanted to help the demon slaying cause too. Yes, even Zenitsu Sparrow has a meaningful backstory. Although nicknamed Chuntaro, we're told his actual name is Ukogi. Number 32. Time for some Inosuke. Inosuke for his part ranked 5th in the first popularity poll and 6th in the second. Number 33. The Ino in Inosuke's first name is reminiscent of the first part of the Japanese word for boar, Inoshishi. A fitting detail for the boar mask wearing slayer. Number 34. In the first fan book, it's noted that Inosuke used boars, but also bears and wolves as references when creating beast breathing, his very own breathing style. He joins Mitsuri and Shinobu in the characters who created their own breathing styles club. Number 35. The first fan book reveals that Inosuke is hated by both the uniform makers and by the swordsmiths. This is because he always tears apart the top of his uniform and purposely chips the swords that the swordsmiths make for him right in front of their eyes. Number 36. Something that you might not have picked up on is that Inosuke and Nezuko actually have a really close relationship. In the second fan book, it's revealed that Inosuke respects Nezuko like a mother figure because she was always kind to him and never yelled at him for being different. He reports things that happened to him to her. Although the relationship is purely platonic, their close bond can still get on Zenitsu's nerves. Number 37. In the same fan book, it's revealed that when Nezuko went to visit Kanao and Aoi once a month, Inosuke would go with her. We can imagine these trips helped Inosuke and Aoi develop a romantic relationship. The final chapter of the series features their great grandson Aoba Hashibira. Number 38. The second fan book also notes that although Aoi doesn't smile often, Inosuke was able to make her laugh a lot by doing unexpected things. Since this was arguably the least focused on romantic relationship of the main trio in the manga, I'm glad to see the mangaka giving the relationship special attention in the bonus material. Number 39. While Zenitsu's Kasugai Crow is a sparrow, Inosuke's is an actual crow, but the relationship is no less interesting. The crow mostly hides from Inosuke because Inosuke almost ate his Kasugai Crow not once, not twice, but 18 different times. I think this is an especially hilarious detail, I must say. Number 40. Even in Kimetsu Academy, Inosuke was raised by boars, and as a result, his unique story is featured on TV. It's also notable that he doesn't wear shoes. Number 41. Time to discuss Nezuko. She came in third place in the first popularity poll and dropped all the way down to 11th in the second. Thus, she was no longer the most popular female character in the series. We'll get to who that was in a bit though. Number 42. Before she became a demon, one of Nezuko's brothers, Takeo, asked her what her ideal man would be like. She said he would be like a rook, referencing the shogi piece that can move any number of squares horizontally or vertically. This brings Zenitsu's unique fighting style in mind, which is characterized by fast straight movements. Thus, it seems these two were always fated to end up together. Number 43. 
we are used to seeing Nezuko with her bamboo muzzle, but in Kimetsu Academy, the bamboo muzzles are replaced with baguettes probably from our family's bakery. Number 44. We finally arrived at the Hashira with the lowest level of openness. If you guessed it right, let me know. Water Hashira Giyu. His level of openness is 30%. Number 45, Giyu ranked 4th place in the first popularity poll and 2nd place in the second popularity poll. Number 46, Giyu is the only character aside from Rengoku with his own spin-off manga. His bonus story follows him and Shinobu on a mission after he's already met Tanjiro and Nezuko. Giyu and Shinobu grab a bite afterwards and Giyu uncharacteristically cracks a smile. The audience doesn't see it, but it seems to freak out Shinobu. Number 47. One of the most popular ships in Demon Slayer is Giyu x Shinobu, even though it doesn't really pan out. However, when asked what he thinks of the other Hashira, Giyu says that Shinobu talks to him often. He sees positive characteristics in her like her earnestness and hardworking nature, and he even shows concern when he says she looks unwell at times. Although the two don't end up together, one wonders if they might have given different, less demon-filled circumstances. Giyu also doesn't seem to be interested in Mitsuri since he says about her that she's revealing too much skin. Number 48. In the second fanbook, it's revealed that after Giyu's Haori was almost torn to shreds because of the Muzan fight, Nezuko was the one who managed to restore most of it for Giyu. Giyu was so touched and grateful that he gave her many gifts, like kimonos and western clothes. As usual, Giyu's actions were misunderstood, and Zenitsu began to consider him a potential love rival. Number 49. Although Giyu had trouble making friends, and there are a lot of memes about him having no friends, he does become friends with Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui after the final battle. When Tengen's child is born, Giyu is even allowed to hold the baby. Number 50. In Kimetsu Academy, Giyu is a gym teacher, aka a PE teacher. Number 51. At the halfway point, we move on to Shinobu. Shinobu's surname contains the reading for butterfly, which seems rather fitting for the insect Hashira. Number 52. Shinobu ranked 6th in the first popularity poll and 5th in the second, making her the most popular female character by the end of the series. Number 53. In the first fanbook, it's pointed out that Shinobu and Mitsuri, despite having very different personalities, get along quite well due to them being the only two female Hashira following Big Sis Kana's death. Mitsuri even taught Shinobu Western cooking. Number 54. Part of Shinobu's epic plan to defeat Upper Moon 2 Doma was to be absorbed by the Upper Moon. Originally, Shinobu was stated to have 70 times the lethal amount of Wisteria poison in her body. However, in the volume edition, the mangaka corrected this to 700 times the lethal amount. Thus, it's no wonder the poison had such a profound effect on Upper Moon 2 Doma. Number 55. In the second fan book, it's revealed that Shinobu had a pet goldfish called Fugu. Fugu, however, translates to pufferfish in Japanese, the one that's eaten after some very poisonous parts have been taken out. A fitting name for the also poison-filled Shinobu's pet. Number 56. Shinobu's thoughts on the other Hashira are also very revealing. For Giyu, she wishes he'd talk a bit more, suggesting she wishes he'd open up more to her. For Stone Hashira Gyome, she says she respects him from the bottom of her heart. If you didn't know, after their parents were killed by a demon, they, Kanae and Shinobu, were saved in the nick of time by Gyome. They decided to follow in his demon slaying footsteps so that they could help prevent others from going through what they went through. Lastly, and perhaps most interestingly, I'll mention what she said about Sanami, the Wind Hashira. Namely, that whenever they meet each other, he asks asks if she's doing okay. This seems pretty sweet and out of character for someone like the hot-headed, angry Sanami, but it's actually because Sanami was so close to Kanae, Shinobu's older sister before she died, and we'll get into that more later. Number 57. Last Shinobu fact is that Shinobu's level of openness was 85%, which is definitely higher than I would have expected. Number 58. On to bad boy Sanami, the Wind Hashira. Sanami's surname has Immortality River in it, which seems fitting for a guy that just won't die no matter how many injuries you throw at him. Number 59. Sanami ranked 15th place in the first popularity poll, but he shot up and broke into the top 10 during the second one where he came in 9th place. Number 60. 
In the first fan book, it's revealed that the reason Sanami keeps his uniform always open, unlike most people, is because he is proud of his muscles. Number 61. Sanami shares the exact same height and weight as Muzan. They are both 179 centimeters, or 5 feet and 10 and a half inches tall, and they both weigh 75 kilograms, or 165 pounds. Number 62. Sanami's level of openness is 60%, making him less open than Shinobu, but twice as open as Giyu. Number 63. When describing how he feels toward the other Hashira, Sanami said that he talks to Shinobu now and then since she's Kana's little sister. As I mentioned, he says Sound Hashira Tengen acts like an older brother. He, unlike Iguro, doesn't like Mitsuri much since her, to use his words, idiotic side is hard to deal with. However, like Iguro, he hates Giyu and he comments that he's sick and tired of Giyu's I'm not like you guys attitude. He likes Rengoku since he's a good guy and as mentioned, he gets along with Iguro the best, a pretty cool under the radar bromance that you might not notice. Number 64. In Kimetsu Academy, Sanami is a math teacher. Even if he can't quite keep his whole shirt open, he does still keep his collar open. And he still has all his scars, making him look like the most gangster math teacher you've ever seen. You might be entertained by the fact that once a student told him that nobody needs math in the future, and Sanami responded by throwing him out of the window. And surprise surprise, he talks a lot to Kanae Sensei. Number 65. As revealed when Gyomei talked about his views on Sanami, the Wind Hashira likes Kanae, the former flower Hashira and Shinobu's older sister. This is of course why he talks to her a lot in the Kimetsu Academy world, and why he asks Kanae's younger sister if she's okay now and then. It's interesting that best buds Iguro and Sanami both fell for a female Hashira. Number 66. Now on to Kanao Tsuyuri. Kano actually chose her own last name, Aoi, in Nosuke's future wife, wanted a sister so badly that she fiercely pestered Kano to choose her last name, Kanzaki. Unfortunately, to no avail. Number 67. Kano ranked 8th in the first popularity poll and fell down to 10th place in the second popularity poll. By the end of the series, she was the second highest ranking female character after her big sis figure, Shinobu. Number 68. In the first fan book, it's revealed that Kanao's actual birthday was not known. So Kanae and Shinobu made the day they adopted her her birthday, May 19th. Number 69. Kanao's coin that she previously used to flip to make life decisions was given to her by Kanae, and she keeps the coin in a memory box that was also given to her by Big Sis Kanae. Number 70. On the cover of Demon Slayer Volume 18, Kanao is featured. However, there's a mistake that most won't catch. Take a second and see if you can spot what's wrong. If you said that the mangaka accidentally drew her sword on the right side of her waist when it's supposed to be on the left side, good job, you'd be right. The mangaka Gotoge made a statement apologizing for this mistake after the volume's release. Number 71. On to the legend himself, Flame Hashira Kyojuro Rengoku. Kyojuro's surname Rengoku actually translates to purgatory, which is why the ninth form of flame breathing is also called Rengoku. Number 72. Kyojuro ranked 7th in both the first and second popularity poll, meaning he was consistently a top 10 popular character, despite the fact that he passed on relatively early in the series. No small feat and it's a testament to how well the mangaka wrote his character and his death as well. Number 73. Kyojuro loved sumo wrestling. Number 74. Sweet potatoes were Kyojuro's favorite food, so much so that he'd scream out tasty or delicious every time he put one in his mouth. Number 75. In the first fan book, it stated that unlike Shinobu, Kyojuro was never allowed to have a pet because his father hated animals. Man, as if we didn't have enough reasons to dislike Kyojuro's father. Number 76. In Kyojuro's spin-off in the stories of Water and Flame volume, a kid asks Rengoku why his hair is weird. And Kyojuro responds, maybe my ancestors ate too much deep-fried shrimp. Number 77. When the Mugen Train movie came out, the mangaka released a bonus manga one-shot following Rengoku's first mission. Hopefully, she does similar things down the line with the other Hashira. However, in this one, Kyojuro succeeded in defeating a flute demon that used sound to disorient his victims. Rengoku ruptured his own eardrums so he'd be unaffected, once again showing us how much of a chad he is. Number 78. 
When asked what he thought about the other Hashira, Kyojuro was overwhelmingly positive. The most quote unquote negative he got was saying that Gyu's voice was so small that it was difficult to hear what he had to say. Hopefully that's not lasting damage from the eardrum rupturing. And after complimenting Tengen, he happened to mention that he slightly has too many wives. A hilarious line, but an informative one because now we know that three wives is a bit too much for the flame Hashira. Number 79 Kyojuro has the highest level of openness at 95%. Number 80. In Kimetsu Academy, Kyojuro is a history teacher. Not surprisingly, he's passionate about teaching and history, and his students love him. Number 81. Although Kanao is the only known Tsuguko in the series, it's specifically revealed that in Kyojuro's case, he doesn't have one because his training is too hard and they end up running away. That speaks well of Mitsuri, who was his student during the events that take place in the story of Water and Flame spinoff. Number 82. In the second fan book, the Hashira were ranked by running speed. From fastest to slowest were Tengen, Sanemi, Gyomei, Shinobu, Kyojuro, Giyu, Iguro, Tokito, and Mitsuri. Notably though, a caveat was given that Obanai Iguro ran in zigzags, like a snake rather than in a straight line, so it's quite likely he would have ranked higher if he sprinted in a straight line, while Mitsuri ran after she finished eating. Number 83. Out of the Hashira, the ones that stand out with abnormally large height are Tengen Uzui at 6 feet 6 inches and Gentle Giant and Stone Hashira Gyomei at 7 feet and 2 and a half inches. Shinobu is the shortest at 4 feet 11 and a half inches. Number 84. When the Hashira were ranked in terms of who would be the strongest in an arm wrestling competition, the list went from strongest to weakest. Gyomei, Tengen, Kyojuro, Sanemi, Giyu, Mitsuri, Muichiro, Iguro, and Shinobu. It was noted that Kyojuro, Sanami, Giyu, and Mitsuri were close enough that it would be a close match between any two of them. Number 85. Now let's focus on Muichiro Tokito a bit, the missed Hashira, since he will be playing a major role in the upcoming Swordsmith Village season. Muichiro's first name contains the meaning for quote-unquote nothingness in it, and his surname contains the meaning for quote-unquote transparent, which is fitting for our missed Hashira who has, at least in the beginning, forgotten his past. Number 86. Muichiro has one of the craziest jumps in terms of popularity. In the first popularity poll, he ranked in 29th place. In the second one, he jumped all the way to 3rd place. So you can expect to like Muichiro a lot more after this upcoming season. Season. Number 87. In the series, Tengen has singled Muichiro out along with Gyomei for being especially talented. In bonus materials, Kyojuro even said Muichiro is more talented than Kyojuro was at his age. Number 88. Muichiro's level of openness is the second lowest at 40%. Number 89. In the first fan book, it's revealed that Muichiro purposely wears oversized and loose clothes in order to disorient his enemies. It's harder to see his limbs and joints, so it's harder for them to predict his movements. I love how many details there are like this for the Hashira, and how each of the Hashira are so fleshed out and unique. Number 90. When asked his opinion of the other Hashira, Muichiro compared them all to animals except for Giyu who he described as a decorative object. And oh man, Giyu really gets picked on a lot in this series. Anyways, Shinobu was a swallow bird, Tengen a monkey, Iguro a wildcat, Gyomei is like a bear, Rengoku is like an owl, Mitsuri is like a pink colored chick, and Sanemi is like a wolf. I don't know if I agree with Muichiro on his views here, but I find the idea of picking an animal to describe every Hashira interesting, so let me know what you would pick for each one, and of course, do Giyu and Muichiro as well while you're at it. Number 91. Now on to the strongest Hashira, Stone Hashira Gyomei. You may already know that he's blind, which is why he has no pupils, but in the second fan book, it's explained that he wasn't born blind. He was blinded due to a fever he had when he was a child. Number 92. Gyomei is the only Hashira besides Shinobu and Muichiro to have a personal connection to an Upper Moon. For Muichiro, Upper Moon 1 is his ancestor. For Shinobu, Upper Moon 2 killed her sister. And for Gyomei, Kaigaku, the new Upper Moon 6, used to be an orphan Gyomei looked after before he betrayed Gyomei and the other orphans to a demon. Kaigaku would then go on to be Zenitsu's thunder-breathing senpai and like an older brother figure to him before he'd eventually betray Zenitsu and their mentor as well by becoming a demon. To me, I think Higaku is probably the most hateable character in the entire series. Let me know if you agree or if you would pick someone else. 
number 93. In the first fan book, it's revealed that Gyome loves cats, a trait he shares with Love Hashira Mitsuri. Number 94. Although I chose not to include voice acting facts in this video for the most part, it must be said that Gyome shares the same Japanese and English voice actor as Kion from The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, one of the first anime I ever watched, and one that will always hold a special place in my nostalgic heart. Number 95. Gyome's thoughts on the other Hashira are a goldmine. He's very observant and drops gems like Shinobu seems to enjoy talking to Giyu, Mitsuri seems to like Iguro, Sadami likes Kanae, Giyu seems happy talking with Shinobu, and Iguro seems to be in love with Mitsuri. I love how he just points out every ship we need to know about among the Hashira for us. Number 96. Gyome's level of openness is among the highest at 90%. Number 97. In Kimetsu Academy, Gyome is a civics teacher and a first year homeroom teacher. Since he's so muscular, students are often scared of him at first. But then they see that all of his belongings have cats on them, and they soon realize he's a nice person who likes cats. Number 98. And of course, we need some ninja secrets up in here, so it's Tengen time. The sound Hashira ranked 37th in the first popularity poll, so he was less popular in Demon Slayer than Zaintsu was in Promised Neverland, not very popular at all, but climbed up all the way to a respectable 13th place for the second popularity poll. Number 99. In the first fanbook, Tengen's ninja family's practice of polygamy is explained. At 15, a boy must have three wives. The head of the clan will choose the wives, and they do take chemistry into account when they pick. Number 100. This is my first ever video where I got into a three digit factor secret, so let's take a second to celebrate that by smashing that like button and thus triggering the YouTube fireworks. That would be a very flashy thing to do, and you know Tengen would appreciate it. But back to Tengen, and in the second fan book, some dark stuff is revealed. For instance, it's explained that Tengen had eight siblings, so there were nine of them in total. Three died due to how hard their father's training was. The remaining six children were made to compete in a death battle of sorts while wearing masks. Due to the masks, they didn't know they were fighting each other. Tengen killed two of his brothers before he realized what was happening. One of Tengen's brothers killed another two brothers. And so, it was just them two in the end, however Tengen was disgusted by his father's ways and left the clan with his wives. After this, Tengen would have the habit of saying he's going to hell, but he stopped saying it because it upset his wives so much. And I love how they all had very different reactions. Makio got angry, Hinatsuru cried, and Suma, wait for it, bit him. That biting part specifically gets me every time. Number 101. In Kimetsu Academy, Tengen is an art teacher, which is more flashy than you think. He does stuff like yells, art is an explosion, and then blows up some dynamite. As someone who completed teacher's college, I have no idea how this dude made it through. Notably, he also used to be a gang leader, and his students even call him Gangsta Sensei. And that's 101 Demon Slayer secrets you probably didn't know, one for every Dalmatian. And now, if you want to get even deeper into the hidden and sometimes very dark world of Demon Slayer, you don't want to miss my Demon Slayer Iceberg video, link on screen right now and in the description.